Hello, this is Bashar. In this tutorial, we are going to encrypt user passwords when storing that user information in database. As always, we have this repository right here and you can follow the steps we are doing in this tutorial by starting from this branch bcrypt start and the final code can be seen right here in this bcrypt final branch. This is already cloned and opened in my Visual Studio code. Let's go over the project structure first. Currently I'm at the bcrypt start branch and here in package.json we have this dependencies, this express application and the validator and the SQLize is for database ORM part and the SQLite is the data, database we are using. And we have this node mode which is for uh, watching the the changes in our source so that it will be restarting application whenever we update our source code. And basically in the project we have this application, we have article and user routers and we have error handlers. If you would like to see how this application evolved to this way, please check my previous tutorials about how to implement the REST, RESTful web service, how to handle the errors, how to add the validation and so on. Now in this user router we have this endpoint for posting this user right here. It is validating the user request and if the validation is passing then it is calling this user service create method right here and we are directly saving the incoming body to database which is not the best way to go with because in that body we have this user password and it is in clear text and basically we are storing that information in database as clear text. So first let's start the application and let's see the problem. So in this console running npm start. So the application is running on port 3000 and let's send a post request to this endpoint sending a user, here the user credentials sending the re request, it is receiving success and if we list the users, here we can see there is this user and the password is like this, it is clear text. Now we are going to fix this part and for that we are going to use a library and that library is this one, bcrypt. And let's install that first. Here it shows how we install it. And going back to the VS Code and killing the application since we are going to install new dependency, stopping the application. And now let's run npm install bcrypt. The package is installed. Let's run the application once again. And we are going to use this package right here in the user service. So let's get bcrypt and we get it from the dependency bcrypt. Now in this create function, we are going to create a new object. This one is having the username, email and password and the password is in clear text. Now we are going to update this password with the, the hashed version. So we can do it like this. Let's get the values with the object destructuring from this body. So we will get the username, email and password. And now we are going to generate the hashed password. And for that we are going to use bcrypt and it has this hash function. This is an asynchronous function and also there is this hash sync but it's not suggested to use this sync in the production because this hash operation is using too much CPU and it is better to go with the asynchronous one to use resource more efficiently. So the hash is taking two parameters. The first one is the data we are going to hash and that is password. And the second one is this salt or rounds. And this is the metric for the cost of the process. And if you check the document of the bcrypt right here, there is list of list of process capability based on the round and the default is 
10 and going with this 10 so using 10 here and this is asynchronous so let's await at this line now we have this hashed password so let's create a new object and this is going to be having the username email and it will have the password field but the value for password will be this hashed password saving this one now the application is restarted and the database is empty so sending a new request receiving success and if we get the users here we are receiving this user object having this password and the password is hashed with bcrypt that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one